Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Darren Montgomery, Director of Athletics. I just wanted to thank all of you for being here today. We're so honored to welcome Dan Kelly and his family back to the Hilltop for today's recognition. my pleasure to introduce several guests that are here joining us. Dan Kelly's high school coach, Martin Pierce. As a surprise for Dan, we have several, I think almost 100 members of the Arlington Police Department where Dan served as lieutenant. Most of you who are close with the Dan Kelly family know that Dan served as a lieutenant for the Arlington Police Department for many, many years. Thank you, Dan, and for all of your coll colleagues for your dedicated service. <laughs> Joining us here on the ice are Dan's teammates and close friends, Hubie McDonough, Rich Evans, and Kevin Kervick, who you'll hear from shortly, Abbott Mark Cooper, Chancellor of the College, along with President Dr. Favaza. A special thank you to Mike and Trisha Rocket, whose generosity helped make everything that you'll experience today possible. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Trisha. As you can see, both the men's and women's ice hockey teams are wearing custom replica jerseys for today's games. These will commemorate the season being played in Dan Kelly's honor and a tribute to the great teams that played here at St. Anselm College back in the 1980s. The men's replica jerseys are available via silent auction throughout today's game. I'm proud to share with you that every dollar and every donation for today's jerseys will go to the Dan Kelly Ice Hockey Tribute Fund at St. Anselm College. In celebration of today's event, we recently announced and launched the Dan Kelly Ice Hockey Fund. All proceeds will benefit the men's and women's ice hockey teams on the Hilltop. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce Abbott Mark Cooper, Chancellor of St. Anselm College. Thank you, Darren. We are honored to have with us several dozen members of the Arlington Mass Police Department. Just a month ago, I attended a funeral at St. Agnes Parish in Arlington. Heading home, I was only about a thousand feet from the church and saw the blue lights come on and I was pulled over for going over a crosswalk when someone off to the side was waiting to cross. I was uh, let go with a warning, but when I came here today and saw dozens of Arlington police officers, I was afraid there was a change of mind and they had come to arrest me in force. I welcome you uh, all here on behalf of Dr. Favaza and the Benedictine community, and I ask us now to take a moment and pray a special invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, we gather this afternoon on this special occasion as we dedicate this 2021-2022 season for our hockey teams in honor of Dan Kelly of the class of 1986. Throughout this season, may your spirit guide in a special way all the members of our teams, inspire them to always give their very best of efforts, watch over them and keep them safe from injury that they might enjoy good health, and may they make proud their families 
their friends, their fans, their school, St. Anselm College, and may they themselves take great pride in their own sense of accomplishment. We give you thanks, Father, for all that our hockey program has achieved over many decades. Bless all those who have contributed to its success over such a long time. Today, we remember especially Arthur Langley, also of the class of 1986, who passed away in 2019. May he know eternal peace in your presence. Father, bless in a special way Dan Kelly, who we honor today, and who in turn honors us with his good life, his courage, and his strength of character. Bless him and bless his family. We pray for Dan's well-being and fitness. We beg that you might bless him in a special way and restore him to good health. Throughout the days and months of this season, may we be reminded to keep up our prayers for Dan, that you watch over him and provide him the gift of your spirit. All these things we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. This time we will hear from several of Dan Kelly's teammates. First, it's my pleasure to introduce Hubie McDonough. Good afternoon and thank you all for being here and making being a, a, a big part of today. Uh, it's great to see Danny along with many of my old teammates uh, from years ago. Those were some fun times uh, and being in that locker room, it's really the foundation, the hard work, the fun, the commitment, the foundation for all of us uh, as we let as we left St. A's. Uh, I'm here today, my part is to speak a little bit about a classmate that we, the Abbott just mentioned, uh, my, one of my best friends, Arthur Langley. Artie and I grew up in Manchester together, played a lot of hockey in the North End, uh, and then as the hockey gods would have it, we reunited here at St. A's to finish our hockey careers uh, as, as collegians. I could tell you stories and go on all day about Lang, and I, I know the guys all know. He was just uh, an unbelievable guy. His personality, uh, it, was, it was something else. Usually he was the butt of the joke or, uh, or a barb. And the best thing about Lang is he didn't get mad, he didn't get even. He, he usually joined in, actually, to uh, kind of make fun of himself. And it was incredible an incredible man, an incredible friend of mine. Uh, the last time I stood on this ice in my street clothes, it was to have my jersey retired up there. And Arthur was standing right next to me. And I'd like to think he's standing here right now. And if we could, I know his wife Lisa is here with daughter Emily. Uh, we'd like to have a moment of silence for Arthur. Uh, a great father, a great husband, and a great, great friend. Thank you. Dan's friend and teammate, Kevin Kervik. They switched the order on me. That's okay. why I did a double no take. Worries. No, worries. no worries. Good afternoon. I'd like to thank all those who make this opportunity for me to say a few kind words about my friend Dan. 
Danny and I started our journey 40 years ago, uh, orientation weekend. I walked into the first lecture hall that we had. I had a Western Mass hockey jersey on. I was looking for a seat and to make sure it was way in the back. So I went way up back and sat next, next to this guy. And the lecture starts, he leans into me and he goes, uh, do you have like cows and stuff around your yard? And I said, no. He goes, I thought all guys from Western Mass lived on farms. And I started to process that and I said to myself, I got a party with this guy. This is gonna be fun. So with Danny, come, words that come to mind in me are fortitude, toughness, integrity, loyalty, and it carries over to all facets of his life that I've had the privilege over these years to watch. He, in his professional life, his brethren always knew that he had their back. In his family life, whether it's son, brother, brother-in-law, uncle, husband, father to three amazing kids. You know, Danny's the foundation. He's the integrity, he's the loyalty of the family. And I can tell you, I've been watching his, Lauren, Danny, and Jack grow up. They are a shining reflection of their parents' integrity and bravery. As a teammate, player, you know, Kel is the ultimate. He's the foundation of the team. Uh, first in, last out, locker room guy. First guy to block a shot. First guy to come in the corner to help you out when you bit off a little more than you could chew. You know, it kept us all accountable. You know, the ultimate team player practiced as hard as he played in the game. Uh, my rib cages to this day can attest to that. Um, you know, just a great overall player and teammate. And uh, I can tell you under the tenure, that's his tenure of the foundation of the teams, 82 to 86, we had some of the greatest players ever to wear. St. Anselm sweater, Dave Gavin, Steve Murphy, Brian Murphy, and of course, Hubie McDonough. So in closing on this, I like to say a few direct words to my friend Dan. If you were ever at one of our uh, late night um, study halls, these words may sound familiar to you. As Dan, whenever you need us, wherever you call, there's no, ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough, ain't no river wide enough to keep us from getting to you. We love you. Thank you very much. Before I bring up our next speaker, um, just a special thank you in addition to Mike and Trisha Rocket's generous support in helping make today possible. There were so many people behind the scenes and when I saw Richie Evans' name is what made me realize that it took a village to plan this event. A special thank you to my colleagues in the advancement office, Senior VP Jim Flanagan, Patrice Russell, Father Bennett, um, my athletic department staff colleagues, um, and then, of course, Dan's teammates who helped us make today so special, Paul Fabrizio, Kevin Hubie, and our next guest, Richie Evans. Thank you, Darren. I would also like to thank all the people that made this day possible, who Darren just mentioned many of them. But I'll start with both the men's in the women's team. Thank you very much. Coach Roca and Coach Kindred. Darren Montgomery for his leadership. Jim Flanagan for his organization. Patrice Russell for gathering all the info that we needed and she made sure we had it. Father Bennett, my old classmate, thank you for all your organizational help. Abbott Mark, thank you. Lisa D'Alessandro DeMont who quarterbacked this event from the beginning. Thank you, Della. And President Favaza, thank you. But most of all, I'd like to give a heartfelt thank you to Mike and Patricia Rocket for their continued generosity in making this event possible. I would also like to welcome the Kelly family, Dan, Kelly, Lauren, Dan Jr., and Jack, and their extended family who are all here today. And to Lisa and Emily Langley, who are also here, Unfortunately, their son Eric has a game of his own today and couldn't be here. 
I am proud to say I was friends and teammates with both of these fine men. I am honored to be part of today's ceremony. I was thinking about what I was going to say about these two guys when I received a note several weeks ago from our former team advisor, Professor Joe Katniss. Joe was far more eloquent than I could ever be, so I thought I would share with you what he wrote to me. And I quote, two outstanding men, one being honored, one being remembered. Throughout their years at St. Anselm, I came to respect and admire each for their character, integrity, poise, fortitude, gameness, and charisma. They wore the St. Anselm sweater with pride and dignity, exemplars of the Anselm tradition of excellence. I'm sorry I won't be able to attend today, but I'll be thinking of both of them throughout the, throughout the event. So Joe, I think you're watching this somewhere. Thank you for helping me out today. Next, I would like to introduce uh, pr uh, the president of the college, Dr. Joseph F Favazdi. Again, I just want to uh, <clears throat> extend my welcome. And if you do really want to arrest Abbott Mark, feel free. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to this uh, Sullivan Arena. Thank you for being here today. And before we formally dedicate the season, I'd like to take a moment to honor the memory of Art Langley from the class of 1986. He was a fellow Hawk, beloved teammate of Dan Kelly, who passed away in 2019. Thank you, Lisa, for being here. Emily, his daughter. Art and Lisa's son, Eric, is following in his dad's footsteps and plays club hockey at UNH and is playing at Amherst today against UMass and is unable to join us, but we wish him well. I'd also like to thank Dan and Kelly for being here today as members of the Kelly family and Dan and Art's teammates, classmates, fellow officers, all from the Arlington Police Department. And of course, a special thanks to Mike and Tricia Rocket, both from the class of 88, for their extraordinary generosity in making today possible, as well as the new game shirts with the Dan Kelly patches and practice jerseys for both the men and the women's teams today. So on behalf of the entire St. Anselm community and the St. Anselm Athletic Department, I am honored to formally dedicate the 2021-2022 hockey season in honor of Dan Kelly, class of 1987. Before we drop the puck, the ceremonial first puck, as I look up at the stands that are filled, not quite all of you were here earlier today uh, when our women's ice hockey team was victorious. They are, as Mike Rocket said in the locker room, they are undefeated in the replica jersey. Let's hear it for Coach Kindred and the women's ice hockey team. And I suspect that in about two hours, we'll be undefeated on the men's side too, Coach Roca. At this time, I would ask the head coaches, Larry Roca and Jen Kindred, to please join their team captains, along with Dan Kelly and his wife, Kelly Kelly, for today's ceremonial puck drop. <laughs> 